there, buddy. I feel like my camera is not in the right place. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, who knows. Uh, I'm doing something very stupid right now. I'm going for a ride, which isn't stupid, but I'm going for a ride with, uh... Oh, look at this bike. Nice. CBR, I think. Going for a ride with, uh... No gloves? I don't know if you can see this or not. With my hand. How you doing? That guy's looking at me like, put a retard. How's he looking at his hands like that? Uh, no gloves. I got shorts on. Shorts on. And I got short sleeve shirt on. Now you may be, may be wondering, Brian, why are you an idiot? What are you doing? If you fall, you're going to get scraped up, man. And to that, I would have to say, you are absolutely right. I'm a retard. No, but, uh, you know what, to be honest with you, I told myself I would never, uh, I'd never do this. And the other day, I think two days ago, I, uh, ooh, nice dogwoods over here. Everything's starting to bloom now, so it, uh, looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, so the other day I was riding around, and I was like, man, I'm dying out here. It was like 80 degrees here. I was like, I, I can't do this. I'm going to put some shorts on. So I put some shorts on, and I'm riding. I'm like, wow, you know, it feels real comfortable. This is nice. And I'm riding, I'm riding. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm still a little warm. So let's see. Should I cut the sleeves off my jacket? Because my jacket has, uh, it has, oh, biking. It has a zipper on it. Let's see if I can get him on film. Give me the wave, brother. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so my jacket has, uh, like, I don't know, you can like zip the sleeves off if you want. So I'm thinking, all right, you know, let me do that. So, oh, another biker. Jeez, man, biker day over here. Oh, I see these guys everywhere. Oh, damn, there's like four of them. Yeah, that's what's up. I got, oh, that looks like a dual sport. Then over there, I got a red one that kind of looks like a ninja. Then I got, oh, another one who looks like, uh, that guy's not even wearing a helmet. That's not very good. It's illegal in New York not to wear a helmet. I don't know what those guys are doing. Let's see if these guys are coming my way. Nope. Anyway, um... So I'm riding around and I'm like, alright, you know... I'm still kind of warm, should I cut the sleeves off? So I cut the sleeves off, you know, I, I, and I, I unzip them, I don't cut them. Um, and I'm like, alright, you know, this is kind of nice, it's a little bit, it's a little bit better. But, you know, I'm still kind of warm. So I go back to my house, I drop off my jacket. I drop off my, uh, you know, the sleeves and everything. And my gloves. And I'm like, you know, I gotta go to my sister's house. My sister's house is right down the road. Um, oh, that guy looks good over there. <laughs> um, my sister's house is literally right down the road. It's like half a mile away. I'm like, you know what? I'll go to her house with nothing. That ride was so nice, man. I'm riding around, the breeze blowing towards me, you know. Uh, the sense of freedom I have, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the next, like, two days and I'm going to ride with, with nothing on. So I did. I rode a little bit yesterday with nothing on. Um, when I went on the highway, I, I put my jacket on. I still had shorts on, but I put my jacket on and my gloves on. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I gave that a shot and it feels awesome. Now, is that a smart thing to do? Definitely not. It's one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Well, maybe not. Well, I don't know. I've done a lot of stupid things. But, uh, so I mean, I definitely don't recommend it. I think it's very stupid. You know, uh, do as I say, not as I do. But, to be honest with you, I kind of think that everybody should do it. Oh, hello, copper. Everybody should do it at least like once. You know, maybe, oh, he got someone. He got someone. <laughs> as long as it ain't me, I don't really care. So, uh, I definitely don't recommend it. I think it's very stupid, like I said. And, um, you will, if you do fall, you will get muffed up. There's no way around it, you know? 
you will probably be skinless and uh, that definitely won't feel too nice. But that being said, like I, I think that everyone should try it. Going slow, obviously, you don't want to be going too fast. Um, and maybe like in a parking lot or something. But you just feel so free and so like, you know, there's nothing like your shirt beating against itself. It's, uh, it's just a great feeling. Another biker, give me the wave, brother, give me the wave. There it is, woo! So talk about. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's definitely nothing like it. And you know what? I, I, all my friends did this. My friends were like, oh yeah, you know, I'm not gonna be wearing this. Uh, I'm not gonna get a jacket. I'm not gonna get gloves. One of my friends uh, was going a little too fast. He wound up. Ah, bug on my. That's that's a lame thing about not wearing a shirt. Is you get bugs hitting you all over the place, and uh, it feels real gross. But anyway, um, yeah, a friend of mine didn't have anything on, and uh, he wound up. He wound up hitting a speed bump that he didn't know was there. And sure enough, what happened was he, uh, he got beat up. He, uh, his bike got real messed up and he wound up hurting himself pretty badly. Another friend of mine had uh, just bought a new CBR 1000. He uh, probably had about, I don't know, between 13 and 26 uh, miles. 20, 13 and 26 miles, that's it. Not 1,000, not 100. You know, he literally just picked it up from the dealership. He's driving up my, he's probably gonna kill me if he ever hears this. He, uh, he's driving up my, oh, it smells so good. Driving up my friend's uh, road, and you know, it's a CBR 1000, it's got some power. Ah, uh, poor, someone died. It's a funeral home. Uh, say a prayer for those guys. Um, he's driving up the road, I'm an idiot. I'm, he's driving up the road and he hits the gas or does something, I don't even know. And uh, he winds up bringing it up you know 12 o'clock whatever and uh, sure enough he, uh, he busted it up totaled it right there not not totaled it but totaled it insofar as he couldn't drive it away his hands were all scraped up he still has the scars on his hands like all over his palms um, he got real bad uh, um, road rash and uh, you know I mean is it worth it to me no but then again I'm over here riding around with the same crap that they're wearing. Then again, I've been riding a lot longer than them. I almost got like, I don't know, I got like 2,000 miles, or a little bit more than 2,000 miles out of my belt, which is really nothing. But uh, it's a little different than 13 or 26. And uh, the other guy probably had about, I want to say like 30 or 40. So compared to that, I have a lot of miles under my belt. <laughs> Compared to everyone else over here, I got like nothing, you know. But then again, I can't ride as much. I'm at school and freaking winter time, and what are you gonna do? All right, there, slappy. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going for a nice little ride. This is a town, uh, a couple miles from me. Nice little, nice little neighborhood here. Um, very. It feels to me very old-fashioned. Like this house is probably real, real old. Um, it's just like, an, it's a nice little town, it's kind of cool. Anyway, alright, I'll cut the film and try to talk about something else. <laughs> While I'm riding, can I do it? <laughs>